Okay, so for this part of the tutorial, we are going to look at bringing up our uh, reference images. As you can see, I'm using Blender 2.67a in this tutorial. Now when I went looking for the uh, truck that I wanted to model, I uh, was really looking for an L9000 Ford series, but actually I couldn't find any good drawings of it on the internet, which is strange. I think maybe Ford is keeping them off the internet or something. I'm, I don't know, but I came across this drawing which is um, actually from a model of a you know a physical model of a Ford truck and it's labeled as Ford Aramax 106 so if you look for this image under Ford Aramax 106 you should be able to find it and if you can't find it out on the web then um, you can look in the the-blueprints.com which is where I get a lot of my uh, reference sheets also and it's actually in here now it's important to note though that even though I'm doing this truck I'm gonna be modeling this truck you don't have to model this exact truck if you find another a different truck out there that you'd really like to do and it's similar you know it's a semi truck and it's um, kind of kind of got a similar look to it then feel free to use those reference images. We're going to be covering probably a lot of the same stuff in the modeling, so uh, you know you can do it that way as well. So anyway, once you have your uh, your reference image that you want, then what you're going to want to do is just crop the different views out of it and make separate images out of it. So you want to get your two side views and your front and back view, and unfortunately this this doesn't have a top view and I'm very used to dealing with top views, so I don't think I'll need it at all for this tutorial. But anyway, it'll be interesting to uh, do it this way. The other thing that you're going to want to do is go out on the internet and Google image search the type of truck that you're going to be modeling, whether it be this one or whichever one you, you choose. And you want to find some actual images of the truck. And that way, you're going to use those as reference images because a lot of what what will happen is as you're modeling, uh, you'll get to a point where you're going to wonder what a, a area of the model really looks like, and you're going to need reference images to do that. I've downloaded a few of this particular truck, or at least something that's close to it, uh, and I'll probably be getting more later. Just depends on what kind of views that I need, but. Uh, Anyway, you want to get a few of those ready as well. Okay, so let's set up our reference images. What I'm going to do, this is my particular setup, so I have the front in this view. So I'm going to hit N here to bring up this menu, and I'm just going to check background images. I'm going to add an image. And I need to let it know that this is going to be the front. And I'm going to open the image. And go find the image that I saved, and it's just going to be the front there. Okay, so there's my front image. I'm going to use this view down here instead of the camera right here. I'm going to use the uh, this part as the, uh, actually I think it's going to be the, well I'll, tr I'll try to make it the right image. So same thing in, come down here, turn that on, add image, and we're going to make this right open and find my right image okay and for some reason just my preference I don't like to model on the right I like actually to model on the left so in my normally top view I'm going to use this as the left so I'm going to do a control 3 I'll make it the left image and I'm going to load up my image here change the view to left open okay so bring in my left
left image there. And then I can, well, actually I need to make sure these are lined up the best I can. So the way that I do that is, um, what I'm going to do is do a, a shift A and create a plane. And I'm going to do a RY90 to rotate my plane. And SY here to scale it. I'm going to use Z to get into wireframe mode just so it's easier to see. And control up arrow to go to this view so I can see better what I'm doing. So SY to scale. I'm just going to try to get this um, kind of close to where it needs to be. Okay. And I'm going to move the image over and try to get it the size of my uh, plane here. So to do that, we just come down here to the X coordinate and just want to move that over and not too far. Okay, that's close. Move this box down here to see where I'm at. SY a little bit. Okay, that's pretty close there. And I'm going to do a SZ to scale on the Z axis. And what I'm trying to do here is I want, want it to be at the bottom of the tires and the top of this air scout or whatever you want to call it. So I know it's going to be a little bit bigger, but I do have to move the image. You don't want to move your geometry because, or the plane, because um, you want to make sure it's centered in on the uh, Y and Z axis. But actually, I did move it earlier. I shouldn't have done that. But I can fix that. I can just go um, uh, go into my T menu and origin to 3D cursor and geometry origin. Okay, so now I got my geometry back where it needs to be. And I'm just going to scale a little bit more so it's closer. Okay, and I'm going to move this down the y axis, this image. And that's almost perfect right there. Actually, it's perfect over here, but as you can see, it's definitely not perfect there. That's not good. Unfortunately, um, pretty much any group of images you get is not going to match, so you just have to do the best you can. So, control up or yeah, control up arrow back to my views here, and what I'm going to do is go to my front view, and I need to get this image to match what I'm seeing in my side view. So, of course, this image looks like it's got to come down quite a bit. So I'm going to come down here and change the size down. Okay, getting close, but I need to move it up a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to tab into this plane and I'm going to E extrude it along the, uh, the uh, X axis there and Z into wireframe mode. I think what I'll do is I'll just go to the um, edge of the tires here. Okay, I need to move the image up a little bit more. It's too much. Let's try.
try point fifteen. Point thirteen. Okay, that's close. So basically what I'm doing, we look at both views here, is I'm making sure that my image is centered in the uh, 